Hi, this is Ron McTuber playing the Hunter on PC. Today we're doing the Boone and Crockett Club missions. This one's called Trophy Hunting. In this mission, we've got to use a 6.5 by 55 Blazer R8 bolt action rifle. We're going to harvest two whitetail males of at least 10 typical points at 100% harvest value. So we're on Red Feather Falls, that's where I'm going to first try and get a whitetail because this area, um, we've started from Trapper's Rest, is a very good area for getting whitetail quite quickly. Often you see people talking about whitetail males and where do they find them. Well this is a nice easy route, you start from Trapper's Rest, you walk to this first tower on the left where I'm going and all the way up the left hand side towards the boat. Where I am at the minute, Often, as you reach about these first few trees, just after the water I've just crossed, you will get a call. It will either be a male uh, whitetail, a female whitetail, or a moose. One of the main reasons I'm doing this video is because on Steam recently, I've seen quite a few people ask in the last few weeks about how to get whitetail. So I thought, if I did this mission, I could do both at the same time. Help people out who want whitetail, and you can't get any easier than this route trapper's rest any time of the day and just go left all the way up the side up to the sunken ship you can't get any easier than that on any reserve for hunting whitetail so the first part of our objective is get a hundred percent harvest value on a 10 point typical whitetail now that's quite a nice whitetail, we're approaching a good area near the tower, we've just had a call, it's a female whitetail, it's not exactly what we want, but the good thing about that is, often a male whitetail will be near a female whitetail, so he might not be a great one, but we know whitetail are in the area at the minute. If we had a moose I wouldn't have been sure, because often you get whitetail or moose, um, always at this area. So we're going to move down, just check. You often get about four to five whitetail in this sort of radius of where we are now. Some very big moose and whitetail get took in this area. Some really big ones. So although it's very close to the spawn, don't neglect this area because it's one of the best areas for whitetail and moose there is in the game. So many miss it out or put tents around the reserve and then go there and miss this area. Well you should definitely not miss this area because it is one of the best areas in the game. If there's certain content in the Hunter you want me to film or do a video on, just let me know in the comments. I do always read them, so stick something in there if you want me uh, to do it. If there's enough of you that want to do a certain subject or an item, I will make a video on it when I come up with an interesting concept which I think is worth making a video on. This week I've come down with a bit of man flu, so if my throat sounds a bit croaky, that's why. I've been suffering a little bit, and uh, you know how there's men go on about it when we get colds or flu. It's the worst thing ever, so. It is a bit awkward doing the uh, narration talk inside, because my throat is quite sore, but still having fun playing the hunter. Now this area is very good, this is the area I'm on about now, where this tower is, all this area is vital for whitetails and moose. When you go to areas which have a tower, there's always animals in the area, that's why the towers are there. But the thing is, a lot of people often spend too long in that area looking around. I've seen some people sit there for an hour at a time in the towers, there's no point in doing that. You're better off just getting in, have a quick look round, or check the area for a couple of minutes at most, and then go. If you haven't had a call or there's no tracks about, then don't waste your time there. So we've moved on. I have had a call from a white tail. I'm just going to call it back, see if it's a nice book or not. We have not seen it. We have not got the actual track. All we heard is a call. So I'm going towards it and hoping it's a nice one. And we've got another white tail calling. And that one's quite close so all we've done is we've just gone up the hill a little bit from where we was about 200 meters and we've got two white tail i know are males so i'm going to call this one because this one's quite close so i'm just going to walk towards it 
thing is, there's two ways you can do this. You can either call them and get them to come to you. Now uh, this depends on where you're located. As you can see here, uh, I haven't got much visibility. So I'm actually calling it and I'm just gonna move to an area where I can actually see it coming. Because I know that how the land is here and I know if I, I won't be able to see it until it's probably too late if it's a big white tail. So always work out what your situation is like um, you don't have to call back straight away just have a quick look round work out whether it's better to call straight away or not where it's best to be located when you're going to take the shot and where the animal might come from all important factors which make it a successful hunt uh, sometimes poor planning uh, can mean you'll lose the deer or you it or it'll creep up on you um, and you won't spot it and then it runs off and big whitetail are one of the uh, key ones for doing that they will speak quite easily the big ones now I'm just trying to get an eye on this deer and there it is there's the whitetail looks quite a nice one I know that will be enough so here goes just let the scope steady up a bit 100% harvest is what we need and it's down that looked like a nice clean shot go over and collect it that should be the first objective done we'll soon see I think what we're going to do is if this is the first mission uh, first part of it done I'm going to collect this and I'm going to jump onto another reserve and see if we can get the other 10 pointer there uh, I think it's nice to show a variety of where to get whitetail as it does help not everyone wants to hunt certain reserves yeah that's definitely done it got quite a nice rack so that's the first part done take a nice trophy shot a lovely pose there now we've got to get one more and uh, where should we go I'm going to jump onto loggers point because loggers point is very good for new players it's quite an open area but not everyone will know the good areas of where to go to get whitetails so I'm gonna take you to a nice spot where it often yields big whitetail now we've come to the bottom tower on Loggers Point. We've got a very nice white tail coming in. That will be the mission complete if I can knock this down. This is one of the key spots for getting white tail. You often get coaters here and pigs. Here we go. And that's down. A particularly hard shot. But Loggers Point is a very nice place because um, the grass is often quite short in a lot of areas there's not so many trees over a large percentage of it and you get lots of animals so this is quite a fun reserve uh, i think this is one of the reasons it was used for new players to come on because you you've seen a lot of uh, wildlife and you often got to shoot a lot of animals so the thing is it's a really good uh, reserve for getting the white tails feral hogs, mule deers, um, and it really is a nice fun reserve. Southern White Hart Island can be quite good but it's very dense in vegetation so I wouldn't recommend it for new players but for people after whitetail it's very good. So that's our mission complete, we've been doing the Boone and Crockett club missions, trophy hunting, we've had to use the 6.555 blazer 100% harvest value and that's mission complete. So that's been me Ron McTube, we've been playing the hunt on PC, please subscribe to my YouTube channels, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, bye bye.